just got off the max in a part of town you might be familiar with. Portland International Raceway is right over there. It's a golf course that way. And if you go far enough that way, you've got the Portland Expo Center. But none of those things are the reason why I'm here. The reason I am here is because this is where Vanport used to be. Vanport was a town that existed here from about 1942 until Memorial Day 1948 when it was completely wiped out by a flood when pretty much the support base underneath a railroad line over here which was pretty much the only thing separating the massive Columbia River and this town which was all pretty much at sea level from just completely being washed away. Now this right over here this is an original rooftop to one of the original Vanport buildings. And there's actually a couple of them here. Apparently this block of concrete here also is a relic from the original Vanport. You see, there's the sign that shows when Vanport was around. And there are multiple blocks. Like here's another one. And if you go a little bit further down, we've got yet another one that's being a little bit more overtaken by the plant life, but it's actually kind of cool. And as you can see, there's actually multiple rooftops. So yeah, these are actually actual roofing from buildings that used to be here that they've kind of kept here as a reminder of, you know, what used to exist way over there. And this is another relic, um, reportedly, of past Vanport, and it's this figurine, or I mean, you know, it's a, it's a sculpture, and all of these individual things in here are based around things that existed during the time of Vanport's existence. So you've got, you know, old Coke bottles, a spark plug, a grenade, you got some wartime looking stuff here. Um, just reminders, and it looks like it's, you know, more or less representing the mouth of a fish almost. I don't really know, you know, who made this, what the, uh, origins are to this, but it's, you know, it's another relic that exists here along with these rooftops. Now, these roof pieces, um, are standing here right by the max line where I got off, and we're actually on the furthest east end of where, uh, Vampor was, so Vampor essentially just ended right here so the actual city existed all in this direction however those pieces back there those are the easy relics to find they were put here specifically next to the max line so people getting off the max could see them um, and they're things that were taken and brought in and preserved but the stuff that I love and the stuff that I'm going to show you today are things that are actual remains of actual places that are still in the spot where they originally were. And there's not a whole lot out here. This has all been, you know, drastically altered. Vanport was built uh, with the intention of not, it was almost like an Olympic village. You build it for a purpose, and then when you're, that purpose is gone, you're done with it. Vanport was created here to house all these workers that were coming in to work in the shipyards during World War II. Um, but then when 1945 came around, suddenly these workers, you know, they didn't have any more reason to be here, so they up and left. Uh, but there was still, you know, this town here, there were still all these homes in this area. So the city decided, like, we, we need to try to do something with this. We, we shouldn't just tear it down. We should actually make use of it. And so they transported this place into more of a low-income housing place, but predominantly it was transformed into a place where GIs could live after they got home. You know, you could get a cheap house fresh out of the war, uh, they built Vanport College out here with the primary purpose of providing education for these soldiers that had come home so they could transition into, you know, the domestic life and get a job that wasn't necessarily military related. And what a lot of people don't know is that Vanport, um, which obviously the college was destroyed in the flood, that was this college that essentially started... Um, 
what would ultimately become Portland State University, which is located in downtown Portland. But, you know, enough of the cute scenery. Oh, Jesus. I almost killed myself. And as we approach the fringe of the Huron Lakes Golf Course, I have something to show you that is astronomically more awesome. Right there. Here we frickin' are. A very much ignored relic, I have to watch out for my feet here, of the original van port. I have a lot of theories on what this was used for. I heard that there was elements of the old amphitheater out here and I thought, you know, this kind of looks amphitheater-ish, but that was in another location. Obviously people know this location is here, I just don't think a lot of people are aware of its historical implications. Right here along this little stretch of water. Yeah, I got some footage of a, her of a heron out there in the water last time I was here. But yeah, most people who visit this spot, the only place that I've ever really seen photographs taken is of this particular, which is definitely, you know, historically significant, but this piece of railing that it looks like it probably went on longer one way or another and was broken off here. I almost wonder if at one time there was a matching one over there. But yeah, this, I mean, well, here's my theories. You'll note this wraparound staircase. You've got matching brick foundation here to go with a matching brick foundation over here. So I want to believe that at one time there was a building right here. I've yet to be able to decipher what it is. I've actually looked at aerial views and zoomed in on this area because this lake kind of does a boomerang pattern here. I know exactly where we're at but I still have not been able to decipher what might have been right here. But if you look at it from this angle, it literally looks like you'd walk out of, and this waterway's always been there, so it's not like this was an entryway coming back towards me. So if you look at it that way, it almost looks like you've got the railings here, like you exited this place, and this was some kind of a patio, a gathering spot. I mean, I really just, don't know, but it is one of the coolest things that I have ever found. Now, excuse me, I'm trying to talk here. I now, how do I know that this piece is integral to in, integral <laughs> integral to Vanport? Well, first of all, there's certain aspects of this place, especially the railing here, the stairs, the brick types, that are all far too old to have come post-flood. And it's important to remember that this was all practically, this was all undeveloped land. That's why they picked this area. It was a convenient place to put temporary housing because there was nothing here to tear down. This was just wildlife. So pre-Vanport, there was practically nothing here. So this has to be an artifact of Vanport because there was no evidence that anything was built here before. There'd be no reason to have built anything here before because there was nothing here. And why would somebody just build this here afterwards? And again, elements of stuff here predate it. So it obviously, this has to be an aspect of the original Vanport. Quiet, it's rustic, it's historical, I mean, it's just out here, wedged between the racetrack and the golf course. I mean, other than obviously a few party animals, people don't even know this is here. Even, even sites dedicated to finding the remains of Vanport, I never see anybody reference this area. And if you're walking along the road up there, this is so easy to miss. I'm just. Mm, I'm just drinking it in. Wow, you're inciting. Look at that. Two sightings and two trips.
Now, in order to get to the next spot we want to see, I'm going to have to circle all the way around the Portland International Raceway and get to a location down over there where we've got a couple of pretty cool relics to see before we call it a day. So your average, you know, everyday American doesn't really necessarily know the story of Vanport. And what's so intriguing about it is that it's almost kind of a precursor to Hurricane Katrina. One of the reasons the damage done in that hurricane was so awful is because, you know, the, the dikes weren't properly maintained. It was known that if they broke, floodwaters could come in and just wipe a bunch of stuff out. That's how Vanport was. Um, what they had wasn't necessarily a dike, it was more just a man-made kind of hill that the, a, a railroad trussle went over. But, you know, they kind of misled the people into thinking they were a lot safer than they really were. And then, uh, leading up to Memorial Day 1948, there was massive, we had a warm spell come through, there was massive snow melt, then there was a, several days of just torrential rain, the water spiked up. And then just the support gave way and just dumped water in here. This was essentially a bathtub. And the water just dumped in and had the whole town flooded within minutes. So, you know, it, Vanport is almost a prototype for what happened in Hurricane Katrina, only it happened almost 60 years earlier. Man. <laughs> I'm getting real tired of walking. It's like I have to circumvent the whole entire old town of Vanport just to get to this spot. But I'm so close. Uh, ooh, did someone say urban exploration? I think I'm cracking. Of course, now I'm realizing I'm trying to find the exact spot of this location based on one guy's specific directions. Man. If what I'm looking for isn't here when I get there, that guy's a douche. So, I've been leaving you in such utter suspense. And for what, you may ask? Uh, well, there's a piece of the reason why, but no. The reason I've left you in such suspense is for this particular plot of what looks like boring old nothing concrete. What is this, you may ask? This is the foundation, the original foundation, for the movie theater that was based here in Vanport. This is literally the foundation that the theater was on, and it's still here. It's, you know, it's beginning to get overgrown, but it's still here. And you see, the thing about Vanport is nothing about it was ever really permanent. So this isn't only the foundation you're seeing here. This is pretty much the floor. Do you see all, all these, all of these imprints? See the rusted metal in there? Those are bolts. These things, these are the bolts that held down the seats in this theater that held, uh, I believe, 750 people. Like, look, all these, you know, little marks you're seeing are bolts pretty much surrounded by moss. Man, it was worth the trip. And based on the stuff I've seen researchers discuss, um, they think that this certain flat part over here may have been more where the concession stand was located, or like the entry to the lobby, something along those lines. And you'll notice in this area, you don't really see as many of the uh, kind of bolt markers like there were seats here at some time and yeah so you see and then you get to here and it just just kind of just kind of sort of ends so i'm wondering if maybe this was the entryway because if you look at it you know the imprints like this are different it's all different till you get right here this first little bit the concrete is completely different so i'm wondering if we are staring at the entryway of the Vanport Theater. 
could be wrong. It could have just been an exit door or something, but it looks like this was a particular entry exit route. So everyone, from the floor of the remains of the old Vanport Theater, I'd like to thank you for watching another episode of Explore Oregon as we traversed a little bit of Vanport, the parts we could anyway. And uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun, a lot of trekking, but hopefully you got to see some cool stuff that maybe as a Portland native or someone who lives around here or someone who's interested in seeing cool stuff saw this and thought, wow, I didn't even know there was any remains of Vanport still here. So, you know, that's my objective. I want to show you not just the stuff you can find easily, but the stuff that you got to trek around a little bit to find. Anyway, until next time, I will see you guys later. Hey there. God, look at that. That is so cool. All right, have a good day.